Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G Bear's Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. On this chilly day, I'm making some electricity. We got a little wind blowing, not much, but uh, got sun finally. It came out. Been cloudy, overcast the last couple of days. Yesterday, a little bit of sprinkles, only about a minute's worth of sprinkles. And uh, this is what we got right now. It's 50 degrees outside, 44% humidity. And it looks like the uh, big storm for next week has changed from three days down to maybe uh, a day and a half. So, but it's up to 80% chance on Tuesday now. So we'll see what happens with that. As, uh, they can't make up their minds. They, uh, they, don't, they don't stay in touch, in touch with the geoengineers. They don't know when they're going to change the weather. <laughs> all right everybody so anyway i just wanted to show you that this will be a short today because it is pretty cold out there and the winds are starting to pick up right now as you just saw and uh getting a little uh chilly chilly outside so i'm not going to be out here very long but i'm going to try to get my at least my eight minutes in so that i can uh, uh keep my monetization going Anyway, let's see. Oh, look at that. The pile is cut in half. Yeah, I, uh, I pulled apart a few more today. And uh, there's a lot less um, of these that had screws in them than I thought in the first place. Because, uh, okay, so this one, it's got nails. This one's nailed. This one's nailed. And this one's nailed. So it looks like one, two, three, four at the bottom are the only ones that might have screws. Well, at least I know three of them do. So I pulled those apart and I got some wood scraps over here from my neighbor lady who heats her cabin with a wood burning stove. And uh, got one plastic container filled up. And she was supposed to come by today and drop off uh, the other containers that I gave her a couple of days ago. And I would have had those filled up for her, and she could have hauled them away again today. But maybe tomorrow. I'll, I don't have any more containers I could uh, give her to put this stuff in. So I'll have to uh, wait until I get the containers that she brought. She got a couple of those plastic totes, but big ones. This is a small one. That's all I had, so I, I threw the first part of it in there. But it won't take me long to cut this up if she shows up with the containers. Uh, if she wants to hang around for 15 minutes, I'll have uh, two of the contain two more of the containers filled again, and she'll have plenty of wood for when the uh, cold, stormy weather gets here next week. Of course, it's not going to be very warm tonight. Uh, only getting up into 50 degrees for today. It's been on the chilly side. I got my heavy-duty hoodie on, and. Uh, I worked in my heavy-duty hoodie. I couldn't even take it off today because I never got warm enough. But now that the shade is starting to show up here, it's uh, cooling down quickly. Matter of fact, I took my gloves off to shoot this video, and my fingers are getting cold now. So it's pretty chilly. Did pull uh, 17 eggs out of the uh, coop, and that's two days. So normally it would have been 24 and uh, mama is, is back to laying eggs. So you can see how the cold weather affects the um, egg laying. But that's okay because I got 50 of them in the water glass container, the water glassing project inside. And uh, that's uh, plenty. I can share some of these uh, eggs right now with my neighbors because there's no way in the world I'm going to eat 17 eggs a day. And uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I could eat 17 eggs a day. I love eggs. I can I can eat eggs all day long and uh, not even think about it. But uh, then again, got to add something else to that. That's not total nutrition. So you can see all the all the girls in here. The new ones have been playing around with the older ones and uh, playing hey catch me and run around and scoot past them. Especially the um, the tan new uh, buffs that um, the crossbreeds that are over there. They they love playing with the uh, older ones. 
uh, one of them must be inside the coop. I found uh, the one I think is a rooster. I found it inside the coop up on top of the perch. And that would uh, kind of indicate that it is a rooster. I think these two right here are hens. And uh, of course the gray one, um, I, I named the gray one Liberty because uh, it was sitting on this perch right here the other day and I was over by the battery room and I looked and it had its back to me and from the back it looked like a bald eagle. The neck was a, a light color and the rest of it was dark, like the black color like you would see on the back of an eagle. So that's Liberty over there, right Liberty? You know your name? But uh, yeah, she's hanging in close to the other ones. I think those two are definitely hens. Anyway, they got their feed, they got their water, they're all taken care of. And uh, it did get down pretty cold last night. I woke up this morning to 34 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, came out to check my garden house and see how things had done in there. It looks like they're doing okay. And we'll head over there right now and take a quick walk through while I'm waiting for one, one and a half more minutes to go by. Oh, that feels good when you get by this black. You can feel the, the heat being absorbed from the sun. Pretty cool. Nope, pretty warm. Anyway, I got a zucchini popping out right there on the zucchini plant. Imagine that. December. Coming up on Christmas. And I got zucchini growing. Here's the uh, kale. They they really doubled up in size. One of them there took a hit. I don't know from what, but uh, it took a hit. But the others are, these are stunted growth, and those are really going. The spinach is doing pretty good, and the radishes that are mixed in with them. Something got at the radish greens there. I don't know what's been eating those, but I got to find out. Um, it's a little late for the locusts, so there's something else in here eating those. I don't know if those little um, alligator lizards eat greens too, but they probably do. Tomatoes survived uh, the cool night last night. Um, I don't see any wilting going on here, and I got some fresh tomatoes popping out right there and still some flowers coming. So um, I don't know. Uh, it's supposed to get really cold and uh, possibility of snow this coming week, so I might... Uh, come out and uh, and put some uh, posts in here and wrap these uh, units with um, some visqueen. I've got a big roll of visqueen. I'll get them uh, inside of some visqueen and put some uh, water bottles in there that can warm up during the day and hold uh, radiant temperature at night inside the little enclosure. Maybe it'll su they'll survive. The peppers too. I, if I see these things start to wilt I'll have to come out and pick all my peppers. I got some Basias over there and I got some Anaheims right here. And uh, I got some jalapenos here. So yeah, they got quite a few peppers on the, on the grow. And uh, something's been eating on my um, broccoli. And uh, I gotta find out what's been doing that eating all the little holes in the leaves it can't be cutworms because it's too cold for cutworms but uh, something's been getting into them I'll find out what it is and the chickens will have another treat so potatoes are still doing fine and we'll head on in to the gurt greenhouse because it's warm in here oh yeah look at that it's it's 78 degrees in here nice so i got my little um uh malibus or whatever you want to call them uh lanterns here filled up with uh the uh torch fuel that i've got two bottles sitting up there so i filled up these two here and one over there so when the uh the freezing temperatures come next week I'll come out and I'll light those and just close that door. And I think I'll still leave those two open up there just so that I don't um, uh, 
kill off too much oxygen in here with those things burning but I just want to keep the temperature in here just above freezing so that my uh, citrus trees and that stuff make it through I just picked, picked off a couple of big branches of um, a catnip and brought it over and threw it under Tomcat's cage and I, I'll show you if he's still there when I was walking out before he was uh he was uh, sitting in the sun on this side of the trailer. I mean, on this side of the uh, containers. So let's see if he's still there. He was sunning himself. Uh, oh, yeah, he's still there. He's got his back to us right now. I'll get up a little closer so you can see him. That way, those all you followers out there who ask about the chickens and Tomcat have got all your answers on how they're doing. And there's uh, Tomcat right up there by the back of the container, right below the stack. Oh, there he is. Just uh, sunning himself in the uh, sun. And the wind's coming at my back right now, so it'd be at his back also. So he's uh, he's got his face towards the uh, sun. Let me see if I can close this thing down again. There we go. So the uh, solar panels got uh, washed off in the last rain that we had. Although there is some dirt on them right here in the corners, dirt and dust. That's because uh, some people like to fly down the dirt road at 65, 70 miles an hour and uh, kick up big clouds of dust. And when the uh, wind is blowing just right, it carries all that dust over to me. Well, that's about all I need for today, so I'm going to go inside and warm up. And uh, might have to make myself a hot cup of tea for tonight. Anyway, thanks for joining me. This is G-Bear reminding you, thumbs up down there subscribe and share down there this is g bear signing off